Hi, I'm Guy Martin. I run the open source office at Autodesk and also help out with the Academy Software Foundation where I serve on the governing board for that organization. I think it's important for companies to have metrics, and I think most companies want metrics because they feel like they have to have a return on investment, and it's sometimes difficult in community management and open source in general to feel like you're making progress, and so you can have some amount of, of uh, metrics around things that are very, very specific, like number of forum posts or maybe number of pull requests, but kind of getting more metrics that define community health and define the culture of a community I think is really important, and I think a lot more companies are wanting that sort of thing. I think the most important thing to do is not try to measure too much. I think the problem that a lot of companies uh, run into is that they have a pitfall of looking for too many metrics and trying to measure a bunch of different things. I think pick one or two important things that you think are going to show you what you want from a trend standpoint. And also remember that you need to look at the trend of metrics. You don't want to just look at metrics in isolation or at a specific point in time, but you're really more interested, I think, in the trend of metrics as opposed to just the absolute numbers. I think if we get to a point where we have really good metrics and there's a consistent set of metrics as what the chaos group is working on, I think once we get to that point, hopefully what you're going to see is that we're going to be able to make apples to apples comparisons, right? You're going to be able to look at open source projects and look at them not just from a fitness of use from a technology standpoint, but also look at, at uh, how healthy they are, what their culture looks like. Um, are they going to be a good fit for your organization going forward? Because I think what I see organizations making the most uh, mistakes with is picking a open source project strictly based on the technology fitness and not necessarily on whether that community is healthy and whether that community is going to be around in three to five years. Because if that community is not healthy, that's an extra burden that a company is going to have to pick up to try to maintain that open source project themselves. I think open source projects, especially as they, they grow to have more dependencies among different projects, um, I think it's going to be important not only for the open source projects themselves to have a good idea from a data and metrics standpoint how healthy other projects that they're interacting with is, but again, it's from a company and corporate standpoint, it's really, really important because you look at open source projects and then you look at uh, the dependencies that those open source projects bring in and having a, healthy, uh, having a healthy community and a healthy ecosystem where all of those different open source projects are are actually really, really useful and healthy is going to be important going forward because you're going to start basing, hopefully, decisions about what open source projects and components you use based on the totality of the ecosystem, not just on the individual open source project itself. So actually, I'm a big believer in, in metrics as an engineer, as a former engineer, and I think it's really, really important that we treat metrics in open source not as something that is a burden, but as something that we can really learn from and that we, could have, we can have some great engineering rigor around actually using metrics in a productive way.